mechanism or pathogenesis. This activation of this abnormal splice site which we have just discussed which is normally inactive it causes two problems it causes problems in the translation process also and it produces problems in the post translational modification of the protein also this results in a abnormally shortened protein called progerin this progerin has 50 amino acids missing near the c end so translation mein problem hai and post translation modification it is a farnesylated protein which is responsible for nuclear damage and starts a cascade resulting in premature aging let me try to simplify the simplified version of what is happening in these patients let us first talk about a normal person in a normal person what happens is there is a gene called as lmna right when this gene operates normally there is trans you know that uh, first translation happens for the formation of a protein so there will be translation leading to the formation of let me try to simplify whatever i have said so that all this uh, mumbo jumbo that you have just listened it makes more sense see all these technical terms are important because end of the day questions will be asked on technical terms but if you understand it will be easy for you to relate to those technical terms so what exactly is happening simple language summary let us talk about a normal person here you know the protein process how it does a protein form first there is a dna to a mrna formation we call it as transcription that mrna forms a protein we call it as translation and then that protein undergoes post translational modification in endoplasmic reticulum and golgi and then it is released to the outside it produces this function this is the normal process right so the normal process lmna gene will first undergo transcription and translation so i'm just combining both the two processes transcription first it will there will be mrna formation and from there you will have translation of happening forming the nascent protein forming the nascent protein right this nascent protein undergoes post translational modification which forms mature protein what is this mature protein this mature protein is lamin a and lamin c it is written as lamin a oblique c lamin a or c they are a type of nuclear filament proteins which are present on the inner side of nuclear membrane right these nuclear filament proteins are present if this is the nuclear envelope they are present here this is the side where this lamin proteins are present they are involved in processes like proper dna replication proper mrna translation of various proteins they play a role in nuclear scaffolding they also play a role in nuclear signaling and control of apoptosis this is what is happening in a normal person right in a patient with progeria what will happen in a patient with progeria during translation during translation you will have a shortened protein getting formed so first defect will be at the level of translation so a shortened protein which will have 50 amino acids missing from the carboxy end this shortened protein will be formed second and this is happening because of those genetic mutations which i just told you alternate ac, uh, mechanism the splicing mechanism which is usually inactive that becomes active due to the mutation right secondly during post translational modification this shortened protein will undergo farnesylation 
फार्मिसाइल इज अट इज अट इज अपोफिलिक ग्रुप विच इज ट्रांजिशनली अटैच टू द प्रोटीन प्रोड्यूस चेंजेस इन द प्रोटीन एंड देन इट इज रिमूव दिस फार्मिसाइलेशन कैन नॉट बी रिमूव वंस इट गेट्स अटैच एंड सो दिस फार्मिसाइल प्रोटीन दिस परसिस्टेंटली फार्मिसाइल प्रोटीन शॉर्ट प्रोटीन इज कॉल्ड एस प्रोजेरिन दिस प्रोजेरिन causes damage to the nuclear membrane and this damage leads to premature aging in the patient why we call it as dominant negative because the disease is not getting produced because of absence of lamin but it is the protein abnormal protein which is getting formed which is not only causing direct damage it is also interfering with the function of the normal lamin a or c which can still be formed by other processes and so this is called as a dominant negative gene mutation this is what is normally happening let us try to move further into details what nelson talks about so you have this is the normal process now ye mrna protein up this this is the initial protein translated protein which has come right the different colored segments are being shown here right you have the blue colored segment which is the core alpha helical core of the protein this black colored segment its role will come in some time and this yellow colored segment is the terminal end right initially once the protein is formed this is a nascent protein which is being talked about this is the nascent protein nascent protein means abhi fresh bana hai this protein goes into endoplasmic reticulum and golgi apparatus and process of post translational modification starts in the first process you will have farnesyl transferase enzyme acting here look at this terminal end c stands for cysteine aa stands for amino acid any number of amino any amino acid can be present and x is a variable chain usually aa stands for aliphatic amino acid linear chain is present so what happens is first is farnesyl transferase farnesyl transferase enzyme attaches a farnesyl group to the cysteine molecule can you see this farnesyl molecule has been attached here then two of the enzymes either zmp ste24 which is a type of zinc based metalloproteinase or rec1 which is a ras based protein they act and they remove this terminal end this aax part is removed then icmt which is a type of methyl transferase enzyme that attaches a methyl group in place of this aax which has been removed right so uh, there is cysteine molecule uske sath mein farnesylated uh, group is there and methylation this is a methyl group which has been attached here it is also called as carboxy methyl group right after that this same zinc molecule zmp ste24 again acts and it cleaves it midway from this black colored part so that the terminal end the methyl group and well as well as the farnesylated group that all gets removed and this forms the active protein called as lamin a right this is what is normally happening now let us see what happens in progeria in progeria because 50 amino acids had been deleted the 50 amino acids which are deleted are that black segment which is not getting formed so that black segment is missing from here right so farnesyl transferase enzyme will act here it will attach farnesyl group here then zmpst24 or rec1 group will act here then it will you know remove it then methyl transferase will act it will attach a methyl group but cleavage by the terminal cleavage which was supposed to remove that end wala part segment that part is missing because that black segment 50 amino acid part is just not there so what it will cause is it will cause a short but farnesylated this farnesyl group will not go away this farnesylated short protein will be produced in large numbers and this is called as progerin progerin will not only cause damage to the nuclear membrane but it will also interfere with the function of normal lamin a and lamin c and so it will cause apoptosis in the patient there is a new drug which has been introduced called as lonafarnib which at this farnesylation step and so potential it is one of the potential mechanism how the disease can be modified how the uh, disease can be affected by external therapies
सो दिस इज हाउ प्रोजेरिया हैपन्स इट इज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एक बार में नहीं आएगा यू नीड टू लिसन टू इट वाइस एंड देन प्रोबेबली ट्राई टू इनकलकेट दीज कंसेप्ट इन योर माइंड Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.